of Concord Square is the oldest building in Paris and 3,000 years old on the left the National Assembly, like a Grecian temple and it all. <laughs> On the left again, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And we are going to cross the river, not through Concorde Bridge, but through maybe the most beautiful bridge in Paris. On the right, that's the Alexander the Fair the Bridge, built in 1900 for the World Fair. And before the bridge, have a look to your left. In the distance, you will see the Hotel des Invalides. Hotel means hospital there. It was a military hospital built in the 17th century. There's still a part of the building which is military hospital, but the main part is the military museum. And you see the gilded dome behind? And that's the chapel of the museum of the former hospital. And that's the tomb of Napoleon on the left. You know, Napoleon Bonaparte and was buried there. 19 years after his death in, uh, on the island of St. Helena, he's buried in a crypt below that gilded dome, and he's in seven coffins, one inside the other one, made with seven different materials. See that gold, eh? the, the dome is uh, gilded with 18 carats gold leaf. They needed 12 kilos of 18 carats gold leaf when they regilded it in uh, 1989. Uh, they, gil they regilded also, you see the four winged horses which are above each pillar of the bridge. Have a look. Alexander the Third Bridge. Alexander the Third was the father of Nicholas II, the Tsar of Russia, who was the guest of Paris in 1900 when they built the bridge for the World Fair. And it was built with only one piece of steel on suspension on both sides of the river. There's no pillar in the water. It's and we're going to pass uh, between two two palaces built also in 1900. On the left, that's the Grand Palais, and the right, that's the Petit Palais, the Great and the Little Palace, exhibition halls. Have a look to the right. Look at the very realistic statue of the Winston Churchill on the right. See? Recognize him? Oh, he was there on the right. <laughs> Now there's exhibition of art here. You see people waiting to see that in the Grand Palais, Petit Palais on the right, and a lot of police everywhere because we are going to reach the Champs Elysees, greatest, most famous avenue in the city. And straight ahead on the other side is the Elysee Palace, which is the official residence of the French president. Look on the left, this is Charles de Gaulle. You know Charles de Gaulle, General de Gaulle, who organized the resistance at the end of the Second World War. Then he became the French president. You see him, like, working on the Champs-Élysées. Here we are, on the Champs-Élysées. This is where the military parade of the liberation of Paris was organized, 25th of August 1944, at the end of the Second World War. And the allied troops did their parade behind him, behind Charles de Gaulle, huh? and a few others. <laughs> so they still use the Charles Elysee today, on July the 14th, <laughs> National Feast. There is also a military parade here. At the end of July, every year, the, the last Sunday of July, this is where the Tour de France finishes. And now the, the racing bicycle it finishes here on that square that we are going to cross now, called Franklin Roosevelt Square. Thank you. When we cross it, you will see a lot of flowers all around and uh, six little fountains made with lalic crystal. <coughs> and Champs Elysees, that's two kilometers huh, from Concord Square, which is behind us, to the Star Circus, which is straight ahead. Star Circus, also called Charles de Gaulle Square. That's why you can see the huge arch, the triumph of Napoleon. Two kilometers, so here we were crossing the, 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 the part with the trees, the gardens, the exhibition halls, and from that square, we are going to cross the commercial part. 
There's very few or no private flat here. The ground is too expensive for the private. Everything was bought by companies, commerces, and so on.